Okay. General Honkers the Donkers is back. I don't ask why I said that. I am tired. I am reacting to the next episode, like, right now. Like, I literally just finished the other one not that long ago. I was going to do a post-episode discussion. I don't even know what to say. So I'm hopping right onto this. And, uh, yeah. I know this one's going to be crazy, because it's... I've already seen literally all over fucking YouTube, just thumbnails and titles everywhere, basically giving away what's going to happen this episode. And... I had to guess it's probably going to show older versions of the Titan Shifters, like, throughout history, based on everything I've seen glimpses of. It is easy to spoil me, which is very unfortunate. I was going to do this tomorrow, but I don't want to risk getting spoiled any more than I already have been. Because I went on YouTube and I was just going to watch some YouTube while I edited that video. But then I saw even more Attack on Titan videos. Or the thumbnails and titles were like kind of spoiling stuff. So I'm just like, alright, I guess I'll do it right now instead. Yeah, they asked him that question. Yeah, but you fucking shot Armin with like zero hesitation. That's not cool. Then again, he knew he's a Titan shifter, so maybe he knew he wouldn't die. That was just a warning shot. Either way, this is fucked up and sad. Oh my god. I haven't heard this theme in a long time. Like a long, long fucking time. What are they even grappling onto? I noticed that they're shooting at the sky, but there's nothing there to grapple onto. And so, I guess the gas canisters from the back. The Jaegers are getting fucked up here pretty bad. There's so many of them. What the fuck? Oh shit. So Marley's probably gone already. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> no. Okay, I'm back. And I'm just in a pissy mood now. Because it fucking went ape shit again. I'm gonna have to trim out of the video. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna hit play from now instead of clicking up here. Like that, apparently. I was just gonna make a witty joke and say, oh no, the friends they made that we never got to see. <laughs> It's like, I kind of care, but simultaneously don't, like, because they made friends in Liberio, so it's like, you know, 
No, dude with Fez. No. Why the fuck won't this go away? I have more time. Yeah. That'll take a long fucking time. I've said that like five times already, I'm sorry. Literally these three men. Oh no, but the thunder spears. <laughs> Rumbling. I know I said I'd never skip this opening, but I'll be honest, I kind of want it right now, just to get to the episode. Ugh. When the fuck is all the crazy shit I saw in those thumbnails going to come about? Because so far it doesn't seem like they're going to touch on any of that, of how it's going right now. So I'm just confused how they're going to even bring that up. Okay, retrospective. That's a cool name. Oh my god, look at that area, it's completely destroyed. <laughs> oh. The noise that made. The reverberation. Oh my god. It's so weird. It's so weird seeing them teaming up together, that's so weird. Ah. Oh. Feels strange. The two badass girls. Oh my god. Flotch, still alive. You fucker. Oh fuck. Ah. Holy shit, the animation is so good. Oh my god. Her entire arm or what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Reiner! <gasps> oh my god. Who thought I'd ever care for Reiner, but here I am, actually scared. Oh, it's like an Irwin speech, but fucked up. Oh, he's like evil Irwin. That's not good. <gasps> is Flo No way, is Falco going to come in? Because he has the jaw? What will he do, though?
Transformation never goes well. Was here in a second. Fuck. If only Zeke hadn't fucking turned you into Titan. Oh no. Falco. You brave little dude. <gasps> oh my god, Annie. Fucking Christ, Thunder Spears are powerful. Oh no. No. Oh, fuck. Connie. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Connie, no. Oh, I don't want Connie to die. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, don't tell me he got shot there. How are swords beating guns? I know they're skilled, but... Oh, fuck. This is so badass, holy shit. Oh god, that's scary. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go ape shit again. That animation is incredible. Also, I just wanna say it's crazy how the perspective has changed now. Like, not scared of titans, but scared of the scouts of the people. Like, how the perspective has changed. Now we're, now we're the titans running away from the, like, oh god. Holy shit, man. Run, Peek, run. Oh my god, the animation. Something has to happen right now or else they're all gonna literally die. This is like overwhelming. Oh, did he turn? That's what that was. I was wondering what that was in the thumbnail. How didn't I know? Obviously, it was Falco. I am stupid. Information available for public disclosure. Enemies and allies. When Titans were the greatest threat, Titans were the enemy. When countries were the greatest threat, countries were the enemy. For as long as people hold firm to different beliefs, there will always be an enemy. Oh my god. And there's Samuel with the gun. R.I.P. Samuel, even though I didn't really know you. What the fuck? Oh, he looks so weird.
Well, cool is the right thing to say. He looks weird, but cool. This is some serious plot armor. How are they not getting shot and killed right now? I know they're skilled, but... He looks like a Pokemon! What the fuck? Falco up against Flotch? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh no. Oh no. I still can't get over how cool Falco looks, but oh my god! Is his arm broken? Oh fuck! Gabby kill Flotch just now? I'm just flabbergasted right now, I'm sorry. This is so brutal. Oh my god, why was that necessary? Why would you do that? That was so needlessly edgy and fucked up. Why did she do that? I mean, that was badass, but why? Holy fuck. Falco is still so cool as a titan. Like, that, what is that design, man? Like, what the fuck? Well, Galliard looked weird, but... Oh fuck! What? No! Uh oh. Don't tell me he killed Peek. Falco is a badass, apparently. Holy shit. First time as a titan and he was kicking ass, man. <laughs> and Yonko Boom. Look, oh, and there's Samuel still there. episode didn't go how I thought it would. Just, his titan looks so crazy. Oh fuck, why would you stay behind? What? Was that Keith? Oh my god, Keith? And him are meeting? These two meeting, this is crazy. Two generals or two, like. <laughs> Them both working together, oh my god. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, Keith. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh, I hope you don't, but then again, you've already done a lot in this show. Yeah. 
heart was moved. By how much they've grown. Okay, he's looking at their t shirt. I didn't stop this one first. Makes two of us. Maketh and Keith together. Holy shit. Don't tell me they're gonna blow themselves up. Holy shit. This is crazy. Maketh like opening up about this and Oh my god. Is Keith gonna tell him his bystander story with Grisha or some shit? That's wild. Oh my god, just it's such a mind fuck they're on like a fiftieth century like battleship right now. From like the past when they're in still medieval times in season one, Keith of just this is such a mindfuck. This feels like in Resident Evil games when they get to the lab part. Oh. Sorry, Faust. I'm gonna fucking pause it so I can actually talk properly there because that sounded really cringy and stupid. What he's saying is, in the Resident Evil games, when it, like Resident Evil 4, for example, it starts off in the village, but then you move over to like the castle, but then like the l creepy labs and stuff with the regenerators. That's what this feels like. Just all industrial and like modernized now. Seeing Keith in this kind of setting back from season one, where we started off at, like literally right at day one. Like, this is just. Such a mind fuck. They are gonna blow themselves up. Keith Shadis. Shadis. The Omegas. <laughs> that smile. Oh my god. there you fucker <sighs> it's two done in one night and the next one comes out I'm reacting to it right away I'm not doing this to myself again So Keith, Keith, Keith Shuttis is dead. And Anne Magus. Theo Magus. Fuck. It's just weird, even though they're fictional characters, it's just like... I've... I say this so much and I feel so stupid saying it again, but... Literally, I've been watching this show since I was, like, really young. From a tween to all throughout my teenhood, young adulthood, like to now in the present day. And it's just like, because I've literally known Keith Shot as the character since, like, for so long. And now I just saw how he dies. And he died heroically with Megith, but like, oh. Okay, I guess it was a post-episode thing. Glad I didn't click off, but still. 
I'm gonna need to just sit down after this, I think. I'll probably edit these and upload them tomorrow because I don't really feel like doing it right now. I'm just gonna need some time to lay down and think. Because just... I can't fucking believe two characters who are so great, such good characters, just sacrifice themselves to save the world in that way. Like, just the con... There's so much context I can go into about the brilliance of that, like the writing, like the character arcs, them both meeting right at the end there, two of the head honcho dudes, like like the manly badass man, both in her final moment doing something just so good and brave, like, I just, that's fucking crazy, man, like, I want to talk about that so much, but like, I'm not linguistically talented or particularly intelligent, so there's not really much I can say because I'm not that smart. So, but I'll make probably a separate video from this uh, talking about it because, wow. The fucking birds, man. The birds. In the show. Oh God. He did it for the world. Yeah. All this song. To save the world, to save innocent people. Even some who aren't innocent, just because you're good people. She actually cared for Megath, I'm surprised. It's so crazy seeing Annie cry. <sighs> this show must have made me a lot like emotionally tougher because way back when Season 1, 2, and 3, I cried like a baby watching the show whenever something like that would happen. Or like emotional. But now my eyes just well up with tears, but I don't actually like cry from the show. I think the show has just made me more emotionally like durable. Because that was a beautiful scene. That was beautiful, but like it moved me. But like, I've, this show is so, like I've, this show has already made me cry so many times in the past that I'm just like, so overwhelming and just like, it's so good, like the show that it's like overstimulating where it's like, I, I just, wow, just this moment here, who is that driving? Oh, look at Reiner. Everyone's so cool in the scene. Just... And the seagull watching, and that bird fucking means something. The birds in this show, I swear. The birds and flowers, they mean something. I will actually probably make a discussion episode after this tomorrow, but uh, for now, I'm probably just going to call it quits, call it a night. Because it's like 11.30 right now. Sorry if you can't hear me that well. I'm not gonna fuck up and do this again. I'm not gonna end up doing two reactions in one night because it's not good. But, um, yeah. Um, hope you all have a good morning, day, or night. Love you all. Till next time.
Ciao.